Okay, hey guys. Um, so I'm just trying to find the charger for my LED lamp um, UV for nails. Um, it's good to charge your glow in the dark materials with UV lighting. Uh, so for now, I'm just sitting them both in the window. There's not a whole lot of natural sunlight left as it's the end of the day. It took me a long time to get this done between making the paints and swatching them. Um, I will be right back as soon as I can find the charger and then we're going to really get these charged up and go up into my bathroom where it is completely dark and see how well they glow. So just really quickly, um, these are the colors I did and this is one coating two coatings of paint and then three coatings of the paint on both black paper and white watercolor paper. Hopefully they are going to glow on the black. I'm not sure, it's kind of an experiment as everybody knows that black absorbs light whereas the white will reflect it. Okay, so talk to you guys as soon as I can find my charger. Okay. So, I couldn't find my really good UV light, um, but I have this older one that hopefully will do the trick. So, I'm going to charge them up. Um, just have it over. You can see some glow happening already. Okay. And then I'm going to turn the bathroom light out. We'll take a look at the black paper first. Oh. So, not bad. Um, like I said, it goes one coat, two coats, and then three coats. So three to four very thin coats. Um, the color is off on the camera, but still it's, it's about that bright. It's just this one here is more of a bluey green like it's supposed to be. Um, and this is actually purple. Um, yeah, the, it's the black paper, so it's to be expected that it is not going to be the colors it should. Okay, so here's on the white watercolor paper. As you can see, one, two, and three coats. Um, I messed up when I was doing the pink here. It wasn't quite dry, uh, so it lifted the pigment that was on there. Uh, but the other ones are looking great. Again, this is appearing as a light blue on the camera, but it is actually a very nice greenish teal. And this is actually a very violet, uh, but it's showing up as dark blue on the camera. Um, yeah, the, the pigments are showing up better in person than they are on the camera. Um, but I would say, you know, three to four thin coats of um, what you need. And you should be good. Now, as you can see on the black paper, because black absorbs light, um, <laughs> the glow is pretty much gone from the camera. I can still see them um, on the actual paper with my eyes, though. So, I am going to try doing a charge up here. Um, unfortunately, it's my bathroom plug-in, so I do have to turn the light on, and then I will charge it up, and we'll shut it off really quick so that we can see the white paper. So, as you can see, when I'm charging, you can't even really see the purple. It's doesn't really show. Um, the blue, the green, the pink, the orange, and the yellow.
And there you go. It seems to be staying bright for quite a while. Uh, I'm not sure how long they will retain the light. I mean, I'm not charging it a whole lot, just a few seconds. And, um, yeah, it's going quite bright. Um, you can actually see a bit of reflection on my skin. Um, yeah, see? Like, that's the brightness with just three really thin coats. So I would say, not bad for homemade paint. I will try doing the picture next. Thanks guys, hope you enjoyed it.